Now first, this is just absolutely jaw dropping. This has got to be one of my favorite parts of the whole boat. So we have a hatch over here, which is actually not storage. So you might be surprised on that one. And one thing they upgraded is its fuel capacity. It's incredible that they actually have a head in this boat. This boat guys, I was told, will do up to 70 miles an hour. So we don't have just one live well. We have two huge live wells. We are going to hop up into the second station over here. There's a big old log in the water. You can see all the dolphins swimming around it. This boat's got it all, guys. Right behind me here, we have the all new 281 Camus hybrid boat. And let me tell you guys, this boat is one of my favorite boats on the entire Fort Lauderdale boat show. You guys can see it has a beautiful two-step hull right here for maximum fuel efficiency. And let me tell you guys, this boat has a lot of tricks up its sleeve. So we are going to hop on to this beautiful 28 Camus. You can see this thing is decked out. So as always with our boat walk arounds, we are going to start up at the bow of the boat. Now first, this is just absolutely jaw dropping. Take a look at the size of this casting platform. I mean, it is absolutely huge. There's so much room to just walk around, do all of your casting, throw your casting nets over the side of the boat. No hassle, nothing to trip on. This has got to be one of my favorite parts of the whole boat. And of course, because this boat is made to do some inshore, offshore, everything like that, we have a big old trolling motor on the front, which you can hop open this huge hatch and then you can see we have some storage in here and this right here is the compartment for the batteries for the trolling motors and there we go you can see the batteries right in there close that on up now if we come up to the front we have the anchor well now this boat is not equipped with a windlass and he said it is unfortunately not an option but it is an option on their offshore boats just not the hybrid boat here now here's a look at the boat from the casting platform, you guys can see there is tons of stuff we have to cover here, and it's an absolutely beautiful boat. So up here, we have a huge, huge U-shaped seating, absolutely beautiful, and I can tell you, it is very comfortable. In addition to the U-shaped seating, of course, we have the forward-facing backrest here, which are removable. So that way, if you guys have your wives that are still backseat drivers, even when you're driving on the boat, they can sit here, look forward to make sure that you're not putting them in any danger. So these backrests can just remove very simply by pulling up just like that and can be stored away in any compartment or you could just leave it on the dock if you know you don't need it for the day. And they simply just can be put back just like that. So of course we have storage underneath all these. So we'll open that up for you. Here we are. So like I said, tons of storage options. So look at the size of this well. I mean, this goes very deep in here. This is all the way that's past my elbow right there. I mean, this is a very, very deep fish box. Now we have two side storage, which might look like nice little storage. You could throw a bumper in there, but there's actually a surprise in there. So we take a look inside here on both sides. You could see it's open in there. So this box was actually made for rod storage. So this is an ultimate fishing machine, guys. This boat, you can go offshore, you can fish flats and everything like that. This boat is meant to fish on, so they included some extra rod storage for you guys, which is absolutely awesome. You can keep your special rods out of the elements when you're running through some really rough seas and you don't want to get your rods and reels all salty. So we will easily close everything up here, just like so. And of course, all of these seats are removable. So if you are planning on just pure fishing and you don't want to worry about stepping on your beautiful cushions here, and you could just take them off just like this, and you can leave them at the dock. That way you don't have to worry about damaging them, ripping them or anything like that. So over here, we have a nice little forward facing seating right over here and right behind my head right here, which can be folded back. So I'm not hitting my head on it. This is going to be the step to get up to our second platform that is right this has a second platform up there so that way you can get off get the height advantage see everything you want to see when you're out fishing and we will go up to the second platform to go check it out at the end of the video so underneath the forward facing seat we actually have a little bit of storage it looks like this is an insulated cooler so personally because spoiler alert there is another cooler in the back I would use this cooler up here since it's a little bit smaller. The sandwiches for the day, some snacks that need to be cool, the drinks and everything like that. Get it out of the way, out of the back cooler. That way we could stuff all of our fish, our bait and everything like that in the cooler in the back. And have this one with our food and drinks separated. 
So we have a hatch over here, which is actually not storage. So you might be surprised on that one, but we are going to open it on up. And right there is our fuel tank right here. So the crazy thing about this boat, and one thing they upgraded is its fuel capacity. This boat, a 28 foot hybrid boat, offshore, inshore, whatever you want to use it for, has a 200 gallon fuel capacity. That's right, 200 gallons that is upgraded from the previous 150 gallons. So you guys can go way offshore. You can run this boat to the Bahamas. You can do whatever you want. And just for reference, our 26 foot 2003 Edgewater, that is a huge beast that is meant for offshore fishing, has a 200 gallon fuel capacity as well. So in comparison, I mean, this boat is just as capable when it comes to traveling out as far as you wanna go. So if you take a look over here, we have some rod holder storage. And I was told that all of their T-tops are made custom in-house, which is very cool. They don't outsource their T-tops, they make them all. And it really shows because the attention to detail, I mean, there is just so much going on here. It is an absolutely beautiful T-top on this boat. So you have your rod storage on the side, of course, with these slits through the top of the T-top. That way you can stick the rod tips through it's awesome guys uh, that kind of storage is just one of my favorite things about boats nowadays we have the same thing on the port side of the boat right here now something that's really cool and something i've never seen before really i don't think on any other boat is this is our cabin door right but we also have four rod holder storages on there so they're just maximizing the amount of rods we could put on this boat so we'll open up this cabin door right here and you actually have a head on this boat. So we will hop on in here to show you just how much space is in this cabin. Here we go, coming on in. Okay, so I am five foot 10. I am bent over a little bit trying to stand up in the cabin. So I'm going to take a seat while I talk to you guys really quickly. The fact that this boat actually has a head on it for a 28 foot, Hybrid boats, you know, maybe for the flats and everything and inshore, but it's also capable in some offshore fishing. It's incredible that they actually have a head in this boat. So it's huge props that came in for including the head and a cabin where you can store things and everything like that. Now it is a little tight in here, but like I said, this boat really isn't meant for a luxurious cabin. We have all of our switches and everything, a quick access panel up here. And we are going to hop on out because it is very echoey in there. There is our cabin which is a great cabin for this style and size boat. So we can check out underneath, we actually have our brush holders and all that kind of stuff, along with some really fancy looking blue lights. And we should have the same thing on the other side. And you might notice we have a little hole over here. So if you wanted to stick a rod tip or anything like that through that, you would be able to. I probably would keep the rods inside the inside storage boxes right over there. But uh, if you have a longer boat brush or anything like that, a longer gaff, it allows you to stick it in the hole and allows you to store it away on the side. Now, because this is more of a bay boat hybrid boat, your gunnels are not gonna be very tall. So right now they are pretty much at my knees. So you do have to be a little bit careful with that when you are fishing offshore. If it starts- you know that part of the interruption. Okay, as I was saying before, the Fort Lauderdale boat show interrupted me there. If the boat is rocking a little bit offshore and everything, you wanna be careful that you're just watching your step and that you don't fall over the side gunnels because it isn't very high. So we take a look at the helm station over here. I mean, guys, this is an awesome, awesome looking helm station. Dual garments, you have all your switches lighting up over here. Cup holders, if you look over here, we have all of our lights separated. A little access thing to put your phones, wallets, all that kind of stuff in. VHF radio, radio controls. You have a little non-skid deck over here, which is actually really cool because they put a little um, rim around it so that way things don't slide off. So if you want to throw your phone up there for easy access, and there you go, you don't have to worry about it sliding off. Over here, it looks like we have, um, it's more of a bucket seat, but a little bit of a hybrid of a bench seat. If you guys watch my boat show walk around videos, you know I'm a big fan of bench seats. And this boat, it kind of made it a little bit hybrid. So it connected the backs, the middles are separate. But if you want to sit down in the middle of here, it's absolutely just as comfortable. So that's nice to see. I really like these seats up here. So these will fold up just like that. And you do have a bar that you can fold down right here. That way, if you want to stand up on it, get a little bit more height when you are looking. If you don't want to fish from the second station over here, you have that option of the bar to stand up on. 
Okay, moving on to the back of the boat over here. Guys, I am just in awe with this boat. It is so very impressive. We have more rod holders over here with some cup holders as well, a little bar to hold on to, and some rough seas. Then we also can open this on up and we have some storage so you can, it doesn't pull out, but you can store some sinkers, some lures that you're frequently using out there. That's probably what I always use this for. Very simple storage. We have a Yeti cooler over here that will slide out. And like I said earlier, that's probably where I would store maybe some of my fish, probably a lot of my bait and all that kind of stuff. That would what, what I would really use a Yeti cooler for. Now, one thing that is super impressive because this is a fishing machine is the live well situation. So we don't have just one live well, we have two huge live wells. So here on the starboard side of the boat, we have the first live well right here. I mean, look at the size, look at the size of that. That is insane. It goes further back in there. And if we come on over to the port side of the boat, we have the other live well. That is identical to the other one. We close these live wells on up. So back here, we have yet another feature which keeps the fishermen in mind and keeps your wives and kids and everything like that in mind too. We have a really comfortable seat back here. That is perfect if you guys are running offshore, you have some friends, they could sit back here, enjoy themselves on the ride. I can tell you this is a really comfortable seat back here and I really like it. But if we are just focused on fishing for the day, we could take this and fold it down. Now, just like that, this becomes yet another casting platform. So once you're done riding out to your fishing spot, you can have your buddies in the front casting out their casting net, casting around, all that kind of stuff. While you can still have people in the back with nothing really in your, in your way to be casting around with. This is awesome back here. I mean, just so much room to walk around. You guys can see, count my steps. There's plenty of room to walk around all your fishing needs. You do not have to worry about that on this boat. So we do have a little platform in the back over here with our ladder. So if you do wanna get out and swim, sandbar, whatever, this boat is fully capable for that as well. You might have noticed we have the beautiful power pole right in the back. Can't say enough good things about this boat, guys. They really, really equipped this boat really well. So you can have your power pole. If you guys don't know what a power pole is, basically there's a pole that will come out of this. It'll go down into the water and dig itself into the sand, mud, whatever you guys are in, and it'll hold the boat in place. So the fact that they have this one power pole here for this 28 foot boat that can hold it is very impressive. Now back here, we have twin Mercury's. Let's see what they are. Twin Mercury 300s. This boat, guys, I was told, will do up to 70 miles an hour. So you guys gotta think you can do up to 70 miles an hour. It holds 200 gallons of fuel, two huge live wells. I mean, this boat, this boat's got it all, guys. Now it is time for the moment that some of you guys have probably been waiting for, and I've been waiting for, honestly, too. We are going to hop up into the second station over here. So we will put this bar down just like that with ease, and we are going to climb on up over here just like so, very easily. And just like that, we are standing on the second station of the 28-foot canvas hybrid boat. So let me show you what we have going on over here. We have two outriggers over here, and you can see all the pole holders in the back, the antennas as usual. Now, one thing that I did find that was really cool was this screen over here. Now, what this screen is for is that if it is raining, you can close off this so you can see the tracks on over here. You can close off the second station over here. That way it's not coming pouring down rain on your heads if you are in the lower level. So this can slide just right underneath the seat here. Now, if you are fishing up here and you're seeing the dolphin, you could, guys, you could just picture it now, right where that conch boat is, there's a big old log in the water. You could see all the dolphins swimming around it. Now, they equipped you with three rod, holder, rod holders over here for the captain of the boat. I would personally have my spinning reels with my bucktail right up here, ready to pitch out a bait because it's always really rewarding when you see a captain toss out a bait from the helm station and they catch that first mahi on an artificial. I mean, that's just so cool. Something I'm dreaming of. Hopefully I can do one day. So they equipped you with the three rod holders over here, along with a really comfortable looking seat with a backrest over here. So you could stand here. It's kind of a little bit of a smaller seat, but you're gonna be really standing up when you're up here more or less to drive. And speaking of driving, here is the helm station right here. So we have the beautiful steering wheel, your Garmin, Mercury um, display here, throttle controls, VHF radio, 
everything you would need when driving the boat is all up here ready for you. And you can look at my feet over here. Here's the platform that we are standing on. I can tell you everything up here feels very sturdy, very secure. If I was up here in rough seas, I would not be worried about falling off of this boat. And guys, I mean, this is a beautiful view of the boat show up here. I can only imagine what it would look like on the water. Okay, as much as I'd love to just stay up here and chat all day long in this home station, we do gotta hop down and continue on and finish this boat walkthrough. So, I will show you guys just how simple it is to walk down. So, we are just going to bend down, take a seat just like that on here. Then we are just gonna put our feet on the bar, watch your head on the T-top, and we are just going to hop down just like that. Now we are going to hop off this boat very briefly and look at the stat sheet because I'm sure some of you guys want to see some of the features and everything like that. And I know we all want to see the price of this boat. Here's a quick shot of the back. And here we are, the 2023 281 HB Camus boat. We'll run you a boat show price of $300,000, MSRP of 3,000, 3,000, I wish it was 3,000, $336,000. So if you wanna pause the video, you can see all of the specs of this boat right there. There you go, pause the video if you wanna look at that. And here's one more look at the outside of this boat. Absolutely magnificent. Now this one is equipped with dual Mercury's here, but if you wanted to, they have the same boat right over here. This is the 28 as well. And it is equipped with a single Mercury 400. So if you don't wanna deal with twins, then there is an option to have a single outboard instead. This one really quickly has twin power poles. So instead of having a second station, they have a windshield on this one, which is a three panel windshield. Unfortunately, this boat does not have a windshield. So that is a little bit of a downfall and you can't put one on it because it doesn't really work with the second station. But I think it's worth it. I love the second station. So we are going to hop back into this boat just for the outro here. And because I just can't get enough of this boat, but I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough of this 28 foot brand new 2023 Camus hybrid boat here. I know I certainly did. Thank you to everybody at Camus for showing me around this boat, allowing me to make this walkthrough video. You guys have a beautiful boat. If you guys remember from the Palm Beach Boat Show, if you've been around, that right there is the 34 foot Camus boat that I did a walkthrough of at the Palm Beach Boat Show. I absolutely love that boat. That is one of my favorite offshore fishing center consoles and they absolutely killed it again here with the hybrid boat. So that is gonna do it for this walkthrough of the 28 Camus. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys hit that like button and consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out a lot. Check out Camus Boats online if you guys wanna find out some more information about this boat. And if you guys enjoyed this boat walkthrough, make sure you guys check out this boat walkthrough also from the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show here in 2022. I really think you're gonna like that one as well. And until my next video, remember to keep living salty.